Hey everybody and welcome to the next video for the project Build a Data Analysis Library from Scratch in Python. In this video we're going to be inspecting the dunderynit.py file. Okay, so we did have open the testdataframe.py file and we did run all the tests using pytest. But this is not the uh, file that you'll be editing for the project. There's a single file uh, that contains the source code for pandas cub that you'll be editing. So if we take a look over here um, in, our, uh, in our file system, in our file explorer, you'll see that there's a pandas cub directory. And in this directory, there's a single Python file. It's the dunderinit.py file. Now I'm uh, using the terminology dunder, which is special to Python, and it simply stands for double underscore. So uh, it is a file that begins with two underscores and ends with two underscores. So this file, uh, contains all of the source code for pandas cub. This is the only file that you will need to be editing throughout the whole project. And you, this is the file that you'll be keeping open uh, for the rest of the project. So I wanna, I wanna go a little bit more in detail uh, and cover what is actually inside of this uh, particular file. Let me just give myself a little bit more room here inside the editor so we can get a better visual. Okay, so <clears throat> yes, as I said, this is uh, the only file uh, for, uh, that will be edited during this project. Now, it is not a blank file, as you can see. In fact, there's actually several hundred lines, about 700 lines of code that has already been written here. Now, this is simply a shell of the program that uh, has been written for you. There, are, there is one main class that has been defined. And there's uh, the data frame class. And within this class, there are many uh, dozens of methods that have also already been defined. So you're not actually going to define any other classes. You're not going to define any methods within a class. The only thing that you will be doing is editing the body of some of the methods within the data frame class. So if you scroll down just a little bit from the top, um, I will talk more about this uh, dundery init method uh, in a later video, but you'll start to see the word pass uh, following in the body of several methods. So here we see there's the word pass. This is a keyword in Python that simply means to do nothing. So you can see there's uh, numerous times where the word pass appears. These are the methods that you will end up completing. So there's uh, something else that it, uh, you'll have noticed in every single, in almost every single method. Is these, you'll see a triple quoted string underneath, directly underneath the name of almost every single method. Now these are technically called doc strings, or a shortened uh, way to say documentation strings. So these are literal Python strings that you can write in here to explain how your, you know, how your method works. Now we're going to be using a specific style of doc string called the NumPy, uh, uh, NumPy doc string guide. So if you look down over here, you'll see that I have a link to the NumPy doc string guide. So we're only going to be using a few of the recommendations within the NumPy doc string guide. So basically this guide gives a, breaks down um, different sections that you can put inside of the, this string to help the user. So the first section actually does not have a title. It is simply a description about what happens, uh, what this method does. So for instance, this head method has this description return the first n rows. The next section, so each section as you can see has a bunch of hyphens that directly come underneath it. The parameters section will list every single parameter and its type. So here 
this head method has a single parameter n, and it is going to be an integer. That's what it expects it to be. And there's one more section called returns, and this is going to be the type of object that gets returned from the method. So that is the, those are called doc strings, and we will, uh, you will see them um, elsewhere as they pop up to give us uh, help um, in the notebook for, and they are specifically meant for our users to understand how to actually use these methods. So this is the file that we are going to be editing, and we're going to be spending essentially all of our time in for the rest of the project. It is called dunderinit.py, and I will talk a little bit more about uh, the, the specialness of this file when it comes to importing it uh, into our namespace um, in the next video. Okay, so that's it. Uh, all I have about this particular file, you'll become very accustomed to it and very familiar with it um, since it's the only file that we will be editing.